we're here at this little pull off where we're about to walk to our spot here. And uh, Lucas gets out, and not even five seconds in, we got our first turf of the day. Cope's gray tree frog. These guys are so awesome. Very cute animals. We have the very first brown anole of Tennessee that I've ever seen. Yeah, We've known that they've been here, but they've been <laughs> they've been tough to come across. But I'll get some pictures and I'll put it before this video since uh, I'm a bit zoomed for. That's pretty cool, dude. Logging road and screams red. This is my first ever adult pseudo triton ruber. This is the black chin red salamander, pseudo triton ruber shinkai. And uh, boy, is it a pretty, it's a pretty female. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get pictures of this girl and let her go. All right guys, we are currently walking back to the car. We have uh, been hiking for like an hour now, but we haven't seen anything too big or uh, too big the video since that, uh, since that red salamander we found, but we've seen a, a few slimies. Um, anything else we've seen? So that's slimy salamanders here? No. Yeah, but we gotta drop Zach off real quick and then I believe we're gonna be doing just a little scouting, seeing what else we can find, but I believe we're gonna be going out for some uh, afternoon herbing as well. So if we don't see anything between now and the afternoon, then we'll catch y'all then. Queen snakes have kill scales? I can't remember. Queen snakes are slightly killed, I'm pretty sure. Or strongly. Cause, maybe? Might be a queen. Right, we're here at another local creek. Searching in the meantime while it's still hot outside, so. All right, this right here is a queen snake. Really good sized one out in the log here. Paul's in the water. Where it is. It's in the bush right in front of me. Uh, I'm gonna, whenever you get in range, I'm gonna step down here and I'm gonna see if I can help you out, okay? Okay. But yeah, rotten really? outlook. So, after Paul's major sacrifice and the best teamwork I've seen, we got my life for Queen Snake yeah. in hand. Oh, oh hey, let, me, let me adjust her to a more comfortable manner. Oh, wow. Okay. Here, if you want, uh, take okay. it quick. Cool. Yeah, I don't wanna keep yeah. making her do the death roll, but. Yeah, here's a better look what at this is. queen snake. Is she in shed a little bit? Yeah, just slightly. But yeah, but, oh, my very first queen me. snake in hand. Nice, look at that stripe. Oh, it's gorgeous. That is beautiful, man. Wow. Yes, queen snake. Heck yeah. <laughs> we finally got one. That's awesome. All right, we just took some data. He was 22 inches, right? 22 and a half. 22 and a half inches and a male. So, really awesome first queen snake. So, I'm very excited to get this one in hand. But, some good teamwork with Paul. I'm gonna see <laughs> if I can get some DSLR pictures on him. Um, he has calmed down a little bit, so I might try to prop him on that log down there as such. But, if not, I'm gonna get some cell phone pictures and we're gonna release them and we're gonna continue heading down this little stretch of creek. Paul spotted our next snake. NC2 is this really dark northern water snake looks to be like a, a, a juvenile but we're gonna attempt to get him and get him in hand for y'all for a better view cool. yeah he went under yeah yeah baby turtle right there and paul's gonna attempt to go get this one we tried to get several turtles in hand today, but he's still there. Still there? Yep. <laughs> I got it. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, yes. Do you know what species? Uh, this. I think it's a baby map. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at how. I think. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna have to get my 
Yeah, dude. All right, let's get a closer get that look. On film? Yep. <laughs> let's get a look at this baby. Look at that. Oh my. Yeah, that's a baby map turtle. Heck yeah. Oh my goodness. This is my first map turtle. That is a hatchling. hatchling. I could not believe that. Wow. That is a. <laughs> All right. If you can put him in the palm of my hand, I want to yeah. get a comparison of just <laughs> how tiny this thing is. <laughs> that's awesome. Like, if I had a quarter, that would. That's the size of a quarter. Easily. Yeah. That is the smallest map turtle That's I've ever awesome. seen in my life. Absolutely I'm adorable. So glad he didn't just dip. Same. All right. I do want to get some pictures of this guy for sure. There's a skink hanging out right there in the, the top of that. All right, guys. Here is the last little bit of the footage of this northern map turtle that we, we did confirm. And if you can, yeah, there we go. Look at, look at that little face. Oh, so this is exactly why I'm pursuing to study these little critters. Because they are just wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful little things. But this is most definitely a hatchling. He was only an inch and a quarter in length. So I'm going to get just one scenic photo and let him go right back to the river. Right, here goes my life or northern map turtle. Got some good scenic photos of him. So we're just going to let him right back where we got him. There you go, little man. Grow big and strong. Look at him. He just... He might stay there. It's been quite a long time since I've given y'all an update, but we're here at Zach's personal flip site. We're gonna be flipping just for a little bit while the sun is setting, and then we're going for some night cruising tonight. It's been about 82 degrees here, so... Should be some good luck. We'll, uh... We'll get back to y'all here if we see anything cool. That's not a Double corn flip, baby. <laughs> Look at them. We got, a, we got a lift. Go for it. How did we find them? I'll get this one. Lift. Let's lift. Look at this one. My goodness, this is a big corn snake. Look at this. So this is, the one in Paul's hands nice. here is the individual that I got a while back. This, however, is a brand new one. Oh, nice. That I'm not familiar with. Look at the Look reds at the on that color. snake. These are, like I love how big they are too. They're yeah, so dude, big. These aren't even as wow. big as they get. Yeah, he's a male. That's definitely a male. This is his girl right here. I can check. Beautiful. Awesome fun. So I'm going to, um, did you get that on video? The whole flip too? Yep, this is the male. Yep. So then here's this female. Look at those colors, man. Yeah, we're going down. Yep. Not really my best friend. All right, well, Zach has released the female, which is one I've got the best video of, but this is the male. I didn't show off too much, but he's got some pretty good battle scars to him, as you can see, but he's been hissing here. He's been a good subject for our photos in the background here, which you all will see on my Instagram, but we're about to let him release and hopefully have some baby red coin snakes here in a few months. All right, buddy. Thank you for letting us see you. Go on. Oh, no. Down there. Down there. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, dude. Right, we flipped bit the of piece of tan over there. And look at this massive rat snake shed. I keep these in the dashboard of my car, which you guys probably saw in my... Uh, I'm not going to end the place, but where we went hiking and found the milk snake. But I'm going to replace it with this because <laughs> this is a full piece yeah, and it Paul, looks incredible. You might actually see it in there. Yeah, he's going to look back here. So, uh, Jacob, you want to come look to back? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, let's go see what we can turn up. That, Nothing under there? The yeah. corns were in there, but I'm going to. Okay. 
one does not like your hook. Alright, I'm gonna, I think I move the top of that piece. So we can probably get this. Big piece. Look, it did say there was a racer, so be. Nope. 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 Dang. Let's see. Two more. That's the entire. So after those two corn snakes, we didn't find anything on the other pieces of tin, as you saw. So we took some pieces here that we got from the barn shack and laid some more along the outside here for future herbs to be under. But since the sun is now going down, I believe it's time we get some row cruising in. You betcha. Oh, All right, guys. First row cruise snake of the night <laughs> is this smoother snake that Zach and Paul both saw. The corner of their eye. Yeah, the like a quick turner on the middle of the road, but it was worth it. We were able to save this because some D bag behind me was flying about 90 miles an hour. So where the speed we limit's 25, just yeah. by the way. Yeah, you know that's why we have to come to this part because you got a bunch of uh, NASCAR drivers on here that want to practice for the Daytona 500. But we got to get these guys out of the road. So uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. There she is. Here comes a little critter. Huh? Yeah, first snake in the night. Love Here it. We go. And we're gonna get back to it. Crap. Here we go. All right, we got another smooth earth. We're uh, coming to the road, so we just wanna go ahead and get her out here. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and release her off here. Get her on her way. Good okay. fun. Another okay. smooth earth. Oh. <laughs> Third one on the night that we're saved. This is awesome. Yeah, this yeah. Is go awesome. ahead and just go ahead and. Yep. Okay, she's about to pop with babies. Yeah, go ahead and just let her get off here. There she goes. Yeah, See you, girl. Too. She was about wow. the baby. So in total, number uh, smooth earth snake number four on the night. Is this a gravid female? Yeah, yeah. that she looks pretty skinny than the yeah. other ones. I bet she's given. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thankfully swerved out of the way. This guy was stretched out all across the road, but finally. first new species of the night. Yeah, this finally is something a... that is. Some, yeah. A smooth earth, yeah. Yeah, something that ain't a smooth earth. <laughs> yeah, we got four smooth earths on the night. We made a quick pit stop at the Salamander spot, but uh, we got a rain neck here. We're gonna get them off the road and we're gonna continue on our journey. All right, so it is obviously the next day. Um, last night after the road cruising, we didn't see anything for about 30 minutes. So we just ended up cutting the day short and we were just having a, a music festival in my car pretty much until we got home. But. Thank you for watching the video, and uh, I'm going to be heading to a small spot today. I don't expect to see anything extraordinary, um, but I'm meeting up with one of my friends, and we're going to go for a little bit of a hike. I'm going to see if I can turn up anything. It's about 75 right now. It's going to get a little bit warmer, but after that, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you all in the next video then. So thanks for watching.